folks. My God. Fatima, wife number one, is looking so beautiful. Baby, can I turn around? Let me tell you something before you start chopping up that chicken. Can I tell you something? Baby, this is very sincere. I need you to pay attention right now, please. Right here. Not the chicken to me. I want to tell you something. You are so beautiful. And you are so lucky to be with me. And I mean that from the from the bottom of my heart, baby. Folks, Fatima is looking beautiful from head to toe, but she's got a knife. And don't get too close with a, with a Filipino with a knife. I want to welcome you to uh, today's cooking show. And in the essence of time, we just got the babies asleep. Both of them are taking a nap. And I asked uh, the beautiful Fatima to cut this chicken up. She got a whole chicken at the market. What'd you pay for that chicken, baby? 240. 240, less than five bucks for that whole chicken. And that's a big, thick chicken right there. It's a bigger one. So she's gonna chop up this chicken. And then she's gonna chop up uh, some onions, peppers, I need more green pepper than that, but that's all I got is that one weak ass couple day old bell pepper. We'll deal with it. And some hot peppers. And while she's doing that, I gotta handle a couple other items. And then we're gonna get this cooking show fired off. And basically what I'm making today is gonna be uh, sort of like a uh, burrito slash chimichanga. I guess you could call it chicken chimichangas, but it's going to be interesting. You know, a lot of times what I plan to do never actually works out in the end. It, it, it deviates, but I am going to be making some homemade tortillas. I'm definitely on that. And then we're just going to take it from there. Fuck you, man. Baby, how'd you get so beautiful? I swim up. Okay. Sometimes there's unrealistic expectations in life, Mama Cat. These little kittens ain't gonna climb up there. Now, folks, if you want a free cat, you just come by the Alamo here. I got a whole damn herd of them running loose. We we're gonna cook out on the uh, on the barbecue grill, but as you can see, typical rainy season weather here, in Civic Bay. Typhoon, whatever. I, I'm tired of even listening to their names. There's so many typhoons and this hanging, have a cat, whatever. So we're not cooking out there. We're gonna cook inside. All right, folks. Welcome to my cooking show today. Today I'm gonna be making sort of like some chimichangas. Um, that's probably the best way to describe it. I'm not sure exactly how it's gonna turn out, but something like a chicken burrito slash chicken. Chimichanga. And I am going to be making some homemade tortillas from scratch. And I think we're going to put together a delicious meal here for my Filipinas and the babies. The babies are sleeping right now. I got the beautiful wife, number one, on the camera, being my camera lady, and she is looking so good. She is making it hard for me to concentrate on this food over here. So I want to welcome everybody. Thanks for joining us. First things first, uh, just give me one second. Got to get my beer opener. And I got a beer up here in this freezer. Oh yeah. Mmm. Got a SMB. Sam McGill, Dale Pilson. And Eric Cole. Now, folks, listen. Only way I can drink an SMB is if it is ice cold. So I had that up in the freezer. It is ice cold. Now it tastes good. If an SMB for me is not ice, ice cold, the taste is no good. So this is a beer that is very dependent upon temperature, in my opinion. Mm. 
Oh yeah, it's going down smooth. I'll run down on the ingredients for the, the tortillas. I got some flour between this box and, and this uh, upcycle ice cream box there. I'll mix in a little olive oil. I got some butter. I'm gonna throw some milk in there. Now that, that's full cream, so I'm, I'll probably do half and half, a little water and a little full cream. And what else? Oh, just a pinch of salt. And we don't want this to rise, so there's not gonna be any uh, yeast or uh, baking powder in, in, uh, in the tortillas. I'm gonna mix them up here in the dog bowl. Try not to be too loud because the babies are sleeping. And we're gonna roll it out here. And I've got a cutter, and that's gonna be the perfect size cutting tortillas I'll put here in my skillet. I think that's gonna work out perfect. Now for the for the uh, the good stuff to go inside that tortilla. Uh, wife number one has, has carved up some chicken for us. And we're going to go with onions, green peppers, and garlic. And wife number one didn't listen because she put all the hot peppers in and mixed them together. That's fine. That's the way I want it. They probably don't want it hot, but since she mixed everything in together, I'm throwing everything in the mix. It's going to be spicy. I got these onions here, and we will have to chop up a couple more onions. And I'm going to try to make a, uh, a cheese sauce to go on top. You'll just see as we go along. Shout out to uh, Mother's Best Worcestershire sauce. Here in the Philippines, this is a cheap version of Lee and Perrin's. It has a totally different flavor, but this is a delicious flavor of Worcestershire sauce. And I'm a fan of this. I love that taste. So no, no, no need for me to spend three, four times as much on Lee and Perrin's. And I'll go with a little oyster sauce and some paprika. So basically this is, this is the meat section over here. These tomatoes, I'm gonna set these guys out of the way because they're gonna be for the cheese dip that goes on top. First things first, let's just go ahead and get started on making the homemade tortillas. Mm. All right, folks, here we go. Take this flour. That's all I got left over there, so we'll get rid of that. Got flour in there. And I gotta go to this, uh, what is this, Jolly? Jolly Old Chef. And I've never used that particular uh, brand of flour, but for the most part, flour is flour, my friends. I'm gonna fill that up, and I would estimate that to be, oh shit, I don't know, about two cups. And that's probably too much because, I'm gonna put this in here. I'm not making biscuits. I'm gonna. This is gonna be flat, you know, tortillas. So I probably just put way too much, thinking that I'm making biscuits. Let's get this in here. And keep the keep the critters off of it. There we go. You know, we we recycle, reuse, upcycle pretty much everything we get. So this little birthday tub serves as my flower bowl. All right, and again, I'm not putting any baking powder, baking soda in here, but I will put just a, just a tad bit of salt, not too much. And take my trusty wooden spatula, just stir that up right there. Get any rocket science. Now I want to go with some butter. You know you're supposed to cut this in, they say cut it in. But my little handy dandy shredder right here does a job for me. This thing works great. Just shave off a little bit like I'm grating off some cheese. I stir that in there. 
and then I'll braid off a little bit more. Shit, that's the wrong side. There we go. So I braid off a little bit more. Try not to braid your paper. Don't taste that too bad, but nobody really wants to eat no paper. All right, stir that around. So that's all we got. Salt, butter. Let's hit it with the milk. And this is full cream milk. I don't think you really need full cream. Let me dilute it with a little bit of that water there. Man, that's some gun right there. Like a child proof lid. Mm, I'm gonna have to get the loving tool. Well, let me see if I can get a little torque on it with this diaper. I say diaper, it's baby blanket and a diaper. There we go, a little grip on that bad boy. All right, now how much am I gonna put in here? Well, I just had this conversation with my mom this morning. She gets so mad at me because I don't use any units of measurements and whenever we get to talking about something that she uh, might be interested in, she wants a recipe. So there ain't no real recipe, you just watch the video and take notes. That's not what she wants to hear. And you know what, I, I understand that. Because when I go look at a recipe, I want to go down in the description and see what they're talking about. But folks, that's just not what I do. I don't, I don't know, that's not what I, what I do here on my channel. I guess I probably should. That just takes time. All right, so mix that up a little bit. What I'm gonna do is put a little bit of oil, olive oil on here for flavor. You can't go wrong putting olive oil on anything. Put a little bit of olive oil to go with it. A little bit of olive oil. Add a little bit more water. Take all your liquor bottles. Well, I take my liquor bottles and fill them up with water, just so we got extra bottled water around the house. All right, that's about the right consistency. I need it right there. And I'm not playing around. I'm just gonna get in here and get dirty with it. Get to knead it up. And I thought this was more, I thought this was actually more than a, it's made here, but you know, when you thin these, I mean, come on, tortillas are what? A quarter of an inch thick, if that, an eighth of an inch. So once I start rolling this out, I think it is gonna be enough. And I've already cleaned off my, my surface here. So I'm just gonna sprinkle a little flour. Make sure the surface was clean before we started this little cooking show. Just knead it out. Is there a scientific method to knead and dough? I don't. I don't think so. People might disagree with me. I say this: if you had ten minutes to make a meal. You wouldn't spend 10 minutes just kneading the dough. You'd get to work and it'd all still eat pretty good. All right, so I got that kneaded out and take my redneck rolling pin here and get to work. Just a little more, a little more flour on there. Keep that from sticking. There we go. And you know what, I guess I should just flip it over. It'll, there we go, we're just gonna stick to the... All right, just give me a minute to get this rolled out. Give wife number one a break on the camera. All right, folks, so I guess this is an argument in favor, a point in favor of my mother's argument to use some type of measurement because you know what, I eyeball that. And even when I roll this shit out thin, that ain't even, that ain't even enough for two tortillas. I'm trying to make about eight. So, I will be going back to the drawing board after I cut these two first ones out. I'll be making another 
batch and I'll probably use that whole damn thing. Let's just take it up to 90, quit pussyfooting around because I'm just uh, wasting time by having to start over. But that's all right. We get it rolled out thin here. And let me take my cutter. See if this thing's going to work. Just cut that right there. And what I'm using is a uh, one of the plates. And let's see if this thing is going to be thin enough. It's a little bit thick. But you know what? It'll work. So what I'm going to do with this guy to store it. I'll just put it up here in this pan. I'm not going to be using this for a while. So I'm just going to set that right there. That's a little bit thick. But it don't matter. Come on back over here. Ain't got to be perfect. There we go. Little tortilla. Still on the thick side of the shit. I like my women thick. Not too thick. But I like her thick like Fatima. Ain't that right, baby? I'm not thick. Baby, you thick in all the right places. In the dumb places. All the right places, girl. So I think it's going to end up making three tortillas. But I should have doubled down on it. Get the rolling pin back out here. Flour sticking. Okay, let's get that, that rolling pin going. Get that rolling pin going on. I've already whipped up another batch of uh, dough. I think with this, it's going to be enough. Same process, just double down on everything. Should have done in the first place. I'll get this rolled out. <clears throat> Folks, I'm still rolling this dough out, and I'm still wiping the ones. You know, they make a press for these things. You feed that dough through that tortilla press and it does it for you. When you don't have a damn tortilla, tortilla press and you roll this shit out by hand, that's a lot of work. Ain't no joke. I'm using this damn uh, Imperador bottle. But when, you know, it works pretty good for biscuits, but when you're trying to thin this out, to make tortillas, you wish you had a damn proper rolling pin or a damn tortilla press. Now folks, here's a quick safety message. Listen, I'm using this bottle because I'm transient and I'm cheap. Okay, I don't want to buy a damn rolling pin when I can substitute a bottle and I don't have to take it with me when we displace and move. Don't put all your weight down on this damn bottle. You break the bottle, cut your damn hand wide open. And you have a damn red swirl up in here. Okay, I'm not putting all my weight on it. I'm just using this thing to roll. Yeah, it's time consuming. Don't don't put all your weight down on this bottle and break the damn thing, cut your hand wide open. There's your legal cheese. Alright, so we get this stretched out there. Get the plate in here. Cut one of them out. There's one. Two. Damn, that's a slippery bastard. Cut on there. Oh yeah, these are thick. These are way too thick to be honest. Oh well, there's some thick tortillas. May have to call these tortas. Tarts. No matter, folks. They're gonna eat good, I'm gonna tell you that. They're gonna eat real good. Oh, shit. Especially this one. All right, let me see if I can get this thing to spin like I'm making pizza dough. Okay, ready? You ready, baby? A pizzeria, a pizzeria, a pizzeria. Look at that. How many people you know can make tortillas like a pizza man? I've never worked in a restaurant other than the chow hall my whole life. But look at that. Look at that. There you 
go. Now I've got a couple more here. That's a bad one. All right, folks, I got them all rolled out. I think I got six. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think I have six tortillas. They're going to be on the thick side. So be it. I'm heating up my, this is the lid to that large combo cooker. So the main deep skillet is right here, just serving as a towel rack for them damn tortillas. But I'm gonna cook these in the in the lid. And it's kind of strange that the lid weighs, seems to weigh more than the pot over there, but it does. So it's gonna take a minute to get this thing heated up. And then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just, you know, cook up the tortillas. And then we'll move on to the next phase. It'll take a minute to heat this, to heat this bad boy up. And I don't got it on high, I got it like two clicks off a of high. And we're going to see if that's going to serve the purpose. Because again, I, I don't know, I, 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 I just started using this thing. So I, I'm not in tune with this oven or the pan, because the pan is brand new. So this is all trial and error. This is only the, what, the third time I've cooked in this, this uh, cast iron combo cooker by Lodge Manufacturing out of South Pittsburgh, Tennessee, my friends. All right, folks, let me see if we some light on the subject over here. I don't know, Lord, much better than what I had, but we'll, we'll throw the light on there. Throw just a, a little bit of olive oil there. The skillet's starting to heat up. Oh, shit, I should have got the... Uh, should've got the dough off in the spatula. May have screwed the whole thing up from the get-go. Right, that's heating up a little bit. There's no time like the present. And that one is thick. These are way too thick. That's more like a pancake. So these may go from being tortillas to, uh, I don't know, what's thicker than it? Thicker than a tortilla, thicker than a sopapilla, a burrito, but thinner than a slice of bread. I don't know, it might turn out to be biscuits. These over here are pretty thin, but that's some bitch right there. How in the hell did I let that slide? That's what you get when you're drinking and cooking. But we're gonna see how this this little thing turns out over here. Now folks, you wanna see my camera lady? Take a look at the camera lady here, and she's got her rubber boots on. My goodness. Baby, you look so beautiful. Are you excited about this meal? Yeah. My God, look at my wife, number one. She's so beautiful. Baby, let me remind you how lucky you are to be with me. I just need to remind you of that, okay? Okay. 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 Come on. <gasps> All right, folks. Well... This joker is so thick, it's the thickest damn tortilla in the history of tortillas. But it don't matter because it's all going to eat the same. Look at that, that's a, that's a thick tortilla right there. <laughs> it's going to take some extra, extra strength to roll that thing up. That's alright, it's going to eat the same. Look at that joker. Oh yeah, it's cooking nicely though. Those over there are much thinner. I think they're going to turn out better. All right, so I just, I just flipped it over. And this is obviously not going to be a, a, a true tortilla. But what we'll do is take some, uh, we'll just use this. Take some of that olive oil, sprinkle a little pepper on there. Boom. It's like the damn pre-game shit they give you at Olive Garden. Now I say that, I haven't been to Olive Garden in many years. I don't even know if that place is still in business. But back in the day, you know, you, well, macaroni grill, I think it was. You go there, they give you some bread, you know, sprinkle that fresh ground pepper into some olive oil. You talk about deliciousness. Alright folks, it's tortilla number three. Now, this one's thinner, so this is what it's supposed to look like. It can still be a little bit thinner, but this, this is more appropriate, okay? Just pop it in there. It don't take long when they're thin and your pot 
or your pan is, is warm. So this one's going as planned. Now this one's how a tortilla is supposed to look. That's thin. That's how a tortilla is supposed to look right there. That's almost done. Yeah, folks. So Francis, he got busted up. Had a little, uh, <laughs> little tricycle accident. But you know what? You're still living. You're mm -hmm. still kicking. Yeah. <laughs> Chicks love scars. So don't worry about it. Yeah. Well, man, you like I said, you come at the right time. I got to get in here and finish this chicken, and then you can eat with us, man. Mm -hmm. So we'll send one of these ladies to go get us some, to some beers. Wife, Should have brought your wife, man. Told her come on over. Mm -hmm. We got chicken in there. We got rice. But mm -hmm. I'm gonna cook up some uh, tortillas with a little chicken on there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think they can go and pinch my wife. Go get your wife. Bring her on back. Man. You sure? Yeah, bring her on. Okay. All right, Maybe folks. Else? And by the time Francis gets back, we'll get some more beer. All right, folks, I lost my camera lady because uh, my buddy Francis showed up. And you know what? I, it's funny that I said yesterday, or I said today I had to go see him. And he showed up. I told him, man, go, go fetch your wife, my brother. Let me finish cooking and bring her on over. And, and you guys come and eat with us, folks. So that is perfect timing. I'm about to throw this chicken in here. Put a little pepper on this chicken. <clears throat> oh shit, I gotta open up this Worcestershire. I got the uh, camera on a tripod. <laughs> One of these little, uh, what the hell is it? Pixie Mini? If, if you go to Travel Resources in the description, it's, it's on that link. But I use this little bitty tripod more than I use any more of my tripods. What? Mmm. Folks, ain't no time like the present. Is that hot? It's hot enough for this chicken. It's hot enough for a cook them. Oh, my goodness. Let's go. Let's hit it with the olive oil. Hit it with a copious amount of olive oil. Throw that around. Mmm, that smells good, my friend. Oh, yeah. There we go. Hit that chicken up in there. And I've got it on the next to the high setting. Next to high setting. I think basically this probably needs to be on high with this little bitty stove. And don't have a whole lot of ass to it. Boom, going in with the Worcestershire heavy. Because that mother's best. Let me show you that right there. I don't know if it'll focus, but that's mother's best here in the Philippines and that Worcestershire sauce is on the time. And I got some babies in the background. If you don't know me already, I got two babies. Forrest G is fired up for some reason. He likes uh, Kuya Francis, so he may be excited because Francis stopped by. Yeah, but I told Francis, hey man, go get your wife. Come on over for dinner. All right, so we'll get this chicken going. Get that chicken going in this skillet. I'm going with a little paprika. A little bit. Oh yeah. That's a Spanish paprika from uh, JNY. I can't even remember where he bought that. Alright, so get a little Spanish paprika on there. Now since Francis and his wife are coming, I'm not going to put all these peppers on there. Because I want them to try my dish and they're not, you know, most people are not going to eat it if it's that spicy. We're not in Thailand. We're in the Philippines. And most folks do not eat spicy foods on the level uh, that folks in Thailand eat. So I'm going to take out all the peppers. And we're not going to make this spicy because I, I want everybody to try my, try my chicken dish. All right, so while that's going right there, I'm going in with the onions, that bell pepper, garlic. I am, I am not waiting around, folks. I am not messing around with this dish. Right there. Look at that beautiful color. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna uh, kind of saute these guys up. Maybe throw a little butter in there. Alright folks, check that out. 
What I did after that chicken was done cooking, I got rid of those peppers. I just put the lid over there. I'm going to let that bake for just a little bit. I took it off the heat, but I put it on there and now it becomes a Dutch oven. Let that chicken finish up eating or finish up cooking. And I already, already uh, got those peppers done right there. So I've got them over here waiting in the wings. And Miss Marissa went to the store and, and re-upped our booze. And we certainly appreciate her doing that. All right, folks, you wanna know the other awesome thing about Yeti cups? Okay, when you got people coming over and you're pressed for time and trying to preload stuff, and my ref is, is filled up right now, right? She went to the store, got some ice. You know the great thing about a Yeti cup? <clears throat> you go ahead and preload these cups like this. All right. Now this is a, this is a knockoff here. It's okay, but that's not a real Yeti. You take a you take a real Yeti cup and you preload that shit with ice, and all you're doing is waiting on the guests. When the guests get here, boom, Imperador, boom, coat. You've already got the ice ready to go, my friends. And look at Fatima coming over here with the fried chicken. Baby, you looking so good. Boom, boom, boom. Baby, do one dance for us. Do the gimme, 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 gimme. Now she just ripped my fucking internet cord. Won't be no videos this week, folks. And folks, just in case I get lost in the action, that's Fatima's fried chicken. We got rice. And that shumai right there, that's, I don't know, what that, that's from the market. We've got the tortillas. The peppers, the chicken is inside that lodge going on right there. Oh shit, I gotta get down with the cheese sauce. I gotta get back to work. Damn, I'm not finished yet. All right, folks, a little pandemonium there for a while. Just a quick update. This chicken is done, nothing stuck. It is smelling and tasting delicious. So that right there is on time up in that, um, cast iron skillet now over here what I've got I've got a block of this basically equivalent of Velveeta cheese with some uh, full cream milk and some onions and I'm trying to make a, a, a cheese sauce I think I put too much too much milk but we'll see uh, to go over the tortillas and I don't know if anybody's going to uh, partake of that other than me Hopefully they try it. And I put a little paprika on there for flavor. I want to put peppers in it, but I know if I put peppers, nobody's going to eat it. But just to keep the flavor, I had to put some of that uh, paprika. Spanish paprika. So I'm going to get this cheese, this cheese dip going. And hopefully I got the right damn eye on. Yeah, I got the right eye on. And we're just waiting on Francis and uh, his wife to get over here. Have dinner with us. It'll be a good time. Folks, I'm working on this cheese sauce. And I put one packet of cheese in there, but it just didn't thicken up the way it needed to be. So I put the second packet in there, and I think now we're gonna be at the right consistency. All right, folks, let me just go over what we got throwing down right here. Obviously, we got my homemade tortillas right there, made from scratch. People are looking at me like, what the hell is that? Fried chicken. Everybody loves fried chicken. Come on over here. This is uh, the chicken and the onions in the Worcestershire sauce. Basically the filler for the tortillas. And I got the peppers. That's for me right there. I don't know if anybody else will partake. We're in the Philippines, so obviously there's going to be some rice or somebody will complain. And right there is my cheese sauce. And it is perfect consistency. I'm glad I put that second one in there. And so we, folks, we, we are ready to eat. And check out our drink, drinks over here. And over here, I got my friend Francis. Francis, man, thanks for joining us. Come on and have a seat, my friend. And his wife was going to come, but she was too busy. Uh, all right, folks, we're going to get to eating. I want to thank everybody for joining me. Bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Smash that over state road sign. Get on board my train. Food, beer, visas, a lot of drinking, bad behavior, beautiful women, and everything else that comes down the pipe. All right, you ready to eat, my friend? All right, folks, let's, let's sit down and partake of this meal.
Boom, pandas. <laughs> How's that food, sweetie? Is it delicious? Oh, yeah, she said it's delicious. All right, Force G. You get a bite of Papa's food. Get some cheese on there, too, I think. Get him some chicken and cheese on there. All right, Force G. Here, pull that, pull that thing out, boy. All right, get a, get a bite of that chicken and cheese. What you think, son? Is that yeah. good? Yeah. Can it get a smile? Okay, well he's coming back for more. Fatima, how's the chicken and cheese? Delicious. Folks, this is what we got going on. Me and Francis over here at the adult table. Yeah, got the chicken and cheese. Chicken and cheese. Got the fried chicken. Take a look at that right there. Folks, that is some kind of deliciousness. I got the peppers on mine. And you don't got to put the peppers. But I'm telling you, this is going to be some kind of delicious. My goodness. And we're obviously drinking some drinks. Masala. Very delicious. All right. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> Folks, I want to thank you for joining us on this one. Just having dinner with friends. Just cooking up a storm on that on that new cast iron in there. Folks, we eat like kings tonight. So I want to thank you for joining me. And I'll see you on the next one, my friends. Peace out.